Yes, Geralt. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... Brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she's a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Eredin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. 
In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right, because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. You are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm, like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers. Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Ciri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Why are you here? To see you. Something happen? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. 
It'll be all right. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. I don't know, Yen. Honestly, sounds too beautiful to be possible, even. You can always return. If after a month we can't stomach each other's company. All right. Willing to try. That's good enough for me. Go, Geralt. Avalak awaits. And don't get killed, Witcher. Is it true that northern women bathe but once every three days? Shit. Looks like you're making progress. Mm -hmm. Slow, but gradually forward. Got a minute? Of course. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. I am Medetta, as threat as a Novigrad. So, Geralt. Ready? Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. Give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ede eich blame, I may.
Aizio. Ya le fuane. with his staff.
nature. So be it. Let us end this. That's your fat card.
supposed to taste Skellige Steel! Gilmer, you seen Siri? By the Nogglebird! We'll drown all you bastards in the base black with your corpses! How do you like that silver? Something to tell you, but I'll do so afterwards. As you expire.
said you had something to tell me. Avalak has tricked us both. He set us against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you.
Pacific, Sienna. Will we both get through? No! You must go alone! I'll come back. With Siri. I know! Agarin! Jimmy! White frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. Must let me finish telling it.
The gentleman will follow. It's to call a pyre salvation from sin. Captain! Report. Fort Kate's foot. The Funsberg division as a whole. Go ahead, Vascan. Does General Voorhees know? He's at the briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. When hard to play to him, I said, "In what can go?" The Redanians will be here shortly. His Imperial the Majesty awaits. If the Emperor Kersher is Daithwin Adam in Khan at Mort. did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? That's none of your business. Not anymore. Mm. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Your wagon? Thing will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind, too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. You take care now.
stay there. Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Master Witcher, over here. Plenty of blades to try, if it's your will. Greetings.
shades in the, the winter! Out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing. You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? <laughs> You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. We are so late in that boat. We barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. Borrowed! We knew it was yours, still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Uh, hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Eh? <sighs> What's going on? You've not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. No dwarves here. Will you insist this is your camp? Five cups. Five shadows, all yours. Been tracking these dwarves for a while. About two days ahead of me now. Abandoned this camp in a hurry. Something must have scared them. Why do you follow them? They stole from me. Clever little bastards to steal from a witcher. We must go. Should you catch them? Well, never mind. We march tomorrow. Oh, thank you for that, witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, was it? Funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you. We would, but... But you look like one who just frowned in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. I don't want your coin. <laughs> Look at him, all offended. You think we showed him a picture of a naked lass? Witcher's got their creed. No stealing, no pinching wenches at the tavern, and no assaulting travellers. We make exceptions, for travellers especially. Oh, uh, farewell, Witcher. of power should draw from it. Oh, <laughs> 
Kill ya! March in two hours. Any man not standing ready in full outfit will be considered a deserter. Be sure to take all your rubbish with you. Leave nothing. We shall see for how long. Talk. I will come back for you, I promise. Yes, if only Bow done before half your new lord. And oh. detector. The noble Greetings. lord Jagborg assumes his lands to rule with grace and justice. Debts, burdens, and encumbrances owed to any other who were here by the way. We stay here forever. <laughs> Stolid till you no longer. <laughs> You're a hero and all. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we the new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh. Beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. 
Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. <laughs>